let's get started. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the reasons why I work out in the morning time and why if you're having trouble getting into the habit of exercising, you should consider working out first thing in the morning. Before we get into this video, if you have established an exercise routine and you are comfortable getting your workout done at night or any other time aside from the morning, do not try to change your routine if you think that you're going to be unable to get your exercise sessions done. The most important thing is that you exercise. It doesn't matter what time of day you do it, but the most important thing is that you get it done. This video is mainly to highlight some advantages of working out in the morning time versus working out in the evening time. But as I said, if you work out in the evening time and that works well for you, maybe you can try doing a morning session, but if you don't like it, go right back to working out in the evening. The most important thing is that you exercise and that you exercise consistently. <laughs> With that out of the way, the first reason that I work out in the morning time is because I'm used to it. I've been in the military for 13 years at the time of this recording. The military, the first thing you do in the morning is you have formation. I've had formations as early as 0530 in the morning, but most of the time in tactical units like the 101st Airborne Division and at Fort Hood, the 1st Cav Division, those were the two tactical units I was in. Formation is at 0630, Monday through Friday. The first thing you do is you show up, you get accountability of everybody to make sure everybody is alive and okay. And then right after that, and that takes about five minutes, right after that, the first sergeant releases everybody and you do PT, whether that's company PT or platoon PT, whatever. But everybody does PT, which is physical training at 6 30 in the morning right after formation and the reason why it's that way is because the army just like any other civilian job is busy once you get into the day you are going to have all sorts of obligations that you must fulfill during the day and you're not going to be able to exercise caveat some people would find time to exercise during lunch they take their gym clothes with them they would get off of lunch at 11 30 and then they would do a short workout from 11.30 to around 12.15, 12.30, and then they'd shower, change back into their ACUs and go back to work. But sometimes you're involved in missions, sometimes you're involved in things to where you work straight through lunch and you don't have any time to do anything but the task at hand. So being able to get the PT done, because PT is important, you gotta be fit whether you're army, whatever, you gotta be fit, but especially in the army, you have to be fit. There are height and weight standards and physical fitness standards in the army that you must maintain in order to stay in the army. The only time where there's no other activities programmed in the day is from 0630 to about 08. So that is why the army does it the way they do it is you you have to stay in shape so you do that first thing in the morning so that you get it out of the way. And I have become accustomed to that after 13 years of waking up at around 05 every morning, getting dressed for PT, going to PT and, and doing PT. I've become programmed to do it, but I have realized the wisdom in getting your exercise done and out of the way before everything else happens because the other parts of your day will collapse in on you and you'll find yourself at 17, 1800 with no time and no energy to do any sort of exercise. And now that I'm not on the tactical level of the army anymore, I made a change a couple years ago to join the Army Acquisition Corps. The Army Acquisition Corps is much more relaxed in the sense that there are no formations. I have not been to a formation in years since I switched to the Army Acquisition Corps. Everything has been on my own. PT has been on my own. Now we check in through this app where I send a text message every morning when I wake up and it gives my accountability update to my leadership. The Acquisition Corps is much different than the conventional big army because there is no more accountability in the sense of showing up at 0630 every morning for formation. I'm responsible now for getting my own PT done and I still do it every morning. And the reason why now 
I still do PT in the morning, even though I have a choice of doing it whenever I want to during the day when I'm not working, is simply because at 06, 0630 in the morning, everybody else is asleep or they're doing their own thing. Nobody is up to bother me. And I know that that sounds callous, but it's true. I don't have people calling me. I don't have people sending me Microsoft Teams messages. My family is asleep. Everybody is asleep. So that means that I have time, uninterrupted time, to where I can get my workout done. And that is the advantage to doing exercise in the morning time, because everyone else is asleep. Barely anybody wakes up before seven or eight o'clock. And if they are, they're doing their own thing, like exercising or reading or whatever have you. But most people are asleep until seven or eight o'clock in the morning. Most people do not have a morning routine that includes exercise. Understanding that, I realize and I think to myself, okay, everybody's asleep at this time. Nobody can bother me. Nobody's sending me messages. No one's sending me emails. No one's calling me. So that's the perfect time for me to get something done that requires no interruption. And exercise is something that you can't do effectively if you really want to get everything you want to get out of it. You can't do it effectively if you're talking on the phone or sending emails or anything along those lines. So the fact that nobody is up to bother me and most people know that I'm working out during that time anyway helps tremendously. It's uninterrupted time and exercise requires uninterrupted time. Reason number three is that doing the workout first thing in the morning for me, it sets the right tone. I'm a big fan of the author and entrepreneur Naval Ravikant. And what Naval Ravikant says in his book is that you want to make your workout in the morning the hardest thing that you do all day. And that might sound counterproductive. It might sound like you're a masochist trying to put yourself through a whole bunch of pain, but there's actually a lot of truth and wisdom in that because if your workout is the hardest thing that you do all day both mentally and physically then that means that it sets the right tone you've started with a challenge and then everything else after that is cake so you start your day off with a challenge you start your your day off with with physical activity that is going to push you to your limit if you want it to it's going to push you and at least challenge you Everything after that, whether that's dealing with difficult people at work or doing a PowerPoint presentation that you don't want to do, all that stuff is easy compared to putting yourself through the rigorous workout that you did that morning. You can build yourself some confidence. You can say, man, I made it through a 45 minute jump rope workout with a kettlebell this morning, or I made it through a 30 minute jog on the treadmill that was super challenging to me. All this other stuff is easy. It's no problem because I made it through the toughest part of my day already. All this other stuff is too easy. Having that attitude builds up that confidence and it also puts things into perspective that even though a task might seem difficult, it pales in comparison to the workout that you did that morning. So setting the right tone for the day, doing the hardest thing first so that the difficulty of your task scales down during the day is a huge reason why you should consider working out in the morning time and making it a difficult workout and one of the reasons why I choose to work out in the morning. Okay, I'm going to allude to the first reason, which is that the army got me used to working out in the morning with this one. My experience at the end of a long, stressful day when you've been doing email, you've been doing meetings, you've been, you've been sitting in meetings all day, you've been doing PowerPoint, you might have given a couple of briefings that took a lot of wind out of your sails, maybe you couldn't answer a lot of questions that the boss had and you're feeling bad about yourself after the end of the day. It's going to be difficult to find the energy, at least for me, it's difficult to find the energy to do any sort of physical activity at the end of the day aside from walking around my neighborhood. And maybe that's just me. I'm not trying to project myself onto other people. There are people out there who after a long day, the only thing they want to do to relieve stress is to get into the gym and lift some weights or get into the gym and jump some rope. For me, I think that at the end of the day, I'm just too tired. I'm just too tired. I've been through the meetings. So getting the workout done at the beginning of the day, it guarantees that you get it done because you don't know what's going to happen 
throughout the day that may or may not zap your energy stores. You have your schedule, but you don't know how those meetings are gonna unfold. You don't know what's going to happen throughout the day that could take time away from getting your exercise session done. You may not have the energy at the end of the day. You may not even have the time. So for me, I like to get it done first because I can guarantee that it'll get done at 06, 06 30 because I don't know how the day is going to unfold. And if I get to the point where it's 1800, 1900, all I want to do is sit on the couch or read or watch some videos online. I'm going to want to do that more than I'm going to want to exercise. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for tuning into today's video. I hope that it brought you value. If you have a set routine where you are doing your exercise in the evening time and that works for you, stick with your plan. Unless you feel like you want to change your routine around and experiment a little bit, and experimentation is always good. But if you know that working out in the morning for you is just not going to work, whether that's because of your schedule or because of when you get off work or whatever obligations are occurring in your life. Don't try to overstep your boundaries to where you change your routine and then you fall away from exercise. The most important thing is that you get the exercise done. The best exercise is the one that you do and the one that you do consistently. This video was simply designed to offer a different perspective on working out in the morning time versus working out any other time of day and why working out in the morning works for me. To just plant some ideas in your mind about having a different perspective. All right, don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, share the channel with your friends. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, jump rope to freedom. Peace, take care, and thank you for your support. Turn up, boy.